Big day for us today. Let's see if we manage to move our quarter of a million dollar carbon fiber mast without breaking anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're Timo and Joe, and this is our Sailing Yacht Envy. We're currently in Fiji, transforming Envy from an ex race boat to a performance family cruiser. Taking our mast down was one of the first things we did when we arrived in Fiji to increase the boat's safety during cyclone season. Before we put the mast back up, we want to use this opportunity to add a third stay. This will give us more possibilities for sail configurations and make it easier to sail the boat double-handed. And we're very lucky to be in touch with the mast builder who's advised us the best way to make this modification. Uh, Peter, you say to cut, uh, uh, for cut the mast, uh, making the hole, uh, drill the hole and the stone. Peter very kindly explained to us that the mast was thicker, 20 millimeters above and below the spreader, so this would be the best place to drill the hole to add the attachment. In total, we have to drill four holes in the mast, two opposite each other above the spreader for the fore stay, and two opposite each other below the spreader for the running back stays. And then there's the problem of the halyard. Peter suggested we use a sheave inserted into the mast, but we're feeling a bit nervous about making such a big cut in the mast and are considering using an external block instead. How are you going to hoist that? Oh, yeah, that is the other problem. Uh, I, believe, I believe to <laughs> attach uh, one, uh, one uh, exterior blocks. Uh, uh, yeah, best, block, yeah. yeah, one exterior aliar. Oh, thank, thank, thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Amazing. But before we start this work, we're first going to move the mast next to the boat. Our mast is 27 meters long, made of carbon fiber, and we've got rod rigging. And the previous owner of the boat that put this mast on informed us that it cost him 250,000 Australian dollars and is something we could never even dream of trying to replace. So as you can imagine, we were pretty nervous about the idea of moving it. Let's hope we don't break anything. Important day for us today. We're moving our mast so we can start working on it. We're moving it next to the boat. So it's going to go here in this position. Amani's digging, digging space for it. Nice sunny day here in Fiji. One to the most important thing with the carbon mast, when you lift, you have to lift in two points, not in one. And the most important thing is a tight mast with one knot, don't compress the profile of the mast. Because if you do one knot, go too tight, risk to collapse the profile in carbon. It's not like aluminium. Aluminium you can risk a lot of more. Also, the distribution of the weight has to be properly. And the other important thing is when we go to sitting, we have to distribute the whole weight in the whole point with the same load. Sorry. Colin. Hello. Hi, you Colin. See Colin? Is that your bowline done? You want to test yeah. it a bit? Or? Yeah, thanks a little bit. So you're doing a bowline? Yes, it's one bowline. Huh. One giant bowline. <laughs> okay, yes. The important is when we finish, I wish to manage to open because... Yeah. Yeah. Steps are compressed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we manage to open. Okay. Done. So this is Colin. He's helping us. He's very kindly Hello. come to help us move our mast today. Um, and you've, you've worked as a rigger before, Colin? Yeah, I worked for about uh, two and a bit years with the only rigger here. I live like a kilometer down from the marina, so I've been here since I was a kid. Nice. And I was like 17, needed a job, and yeah, started climbing rigs. Cool. <laughs> yep. All right, thanks, Colin. Here's Amani making space for our mask.
say hello. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Omani. Let me introduce. This is Cheryl, our friend. She be here when we remove. The, she be here when we lift and be. When we remove the mast, she come also to see us when we extra move the mast. Number one crew. Ma number one crew. Thank you. And here's me and Captain Nemo. And here's our other captain. To do the movement, we'll use a crane and it will lift up the mast using straps attached at two points. So first we had to decide where to attach these straps so that the mast would be balanced. There's more weight at the base than at the head. That's why our straps are positioned more towards the base. We also have to consider how far apart these two points are. Because if the two point is too close, they try to bend the mast. If the two point is too far away, they bend opposite the mast. Now when a morua pass, we check. This is the mast? Yeah. That long? Yeah. Oh, oh that's good. We're just making sure that our mast won't obstruct any vehicles going past. Yeah, but this is the tire of the truck. Right? Now we're just waiting for the crane. Just wondering where the crane is. Yeah, Fiji time. My little baby shark. It's time for a nap, isn't it, baby shark? It's time for a little nap. Hmm? It's time for a sleep. We can free everything, but we have to be sure when we lift the mast, the rod is not tied to, the, to anything. We tied the turnbuckles at the end of the rod rigging to the base of the mast and also to the spinnaker pole you can see there tied perpendicular to the mast. This is to hold the rod to stop it from bending. First thing we lift the light, the light, and we check the balance. If you have to adjust the position to the strap, we adjust. When we are sure the buffer go flat because it's the last job, it's impossible to hold down one part if it's too heavy. When we are sure we lift, the only thing that enters is the bend of the rod or touch the spread. When we move, now we need to prepare one rope long yeah, one here. We prepared two long ropes attached to either end of the mast for people to help guide the mast into position. Wind's picking up a little bit, but still pretty calm. Hey Captain, wake up Captain, they're about to move your mast. Yes, 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 no, no, More tight is, more safety is. Now we have to put down and clap. Okay, the safety is good. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Now. There's lights there. That is good. We check the balance because maybe we have to move. Yeah. Okay, Sharon, you go watch the head. Eh? Yep. Tell me if the head is too heavy. I probably it's too heavy. Continue to stay seated. Colin, you stay on the back. We watch the balance. Oops. Floor is low. I nearly stepped backwards into this. Okay. Wind's picking up. Two of the most important things we have to be careful of is not to bend the rod and not to hit the spreaders. Don't break our mast, please. Nemo, you're missing everything. Well, time to lift. First, we just lift the mast a little bit to check that we've positioned the straps in a 
good position for the mast to be balanced. But not too bad. I'm I'm ready. I'm so ready. Nemo is not so ready. is saying Thank you It's nice here, huh? Some palm trees Yeah Timo checking the heights of the boxes are all the same. Big strong men. Thank you. Come on, you always get the best jobs. Allora, matematic, Joanna. Six support. We calculate how far apart to space the supports as it's important that the weight of the mast is evenly distributed. Joanna, go here. Before the spread, eh? there is the light. Stop too much. Go back, watch. Light. Okay, set. We had to make sure that the boxes were all in a straight line. When moving the rod rigging, we had to be extra careful not to bend it as it has a memory and would stay bent. Finish to move, the only one that don't work is Nemo. Okay. Lazy is little rigger. Eh? All day like this. Attach, Nemo. We finish to move the mast, oh, Nemo. Captain. Everybody they work. Watch. Also Colin, Amani, Joanna, Mama, and Timo. You sleeping. <laughs> ah, solo. I ah, see, sì, also you. The other Di Maro. Eh? Ce l'hai l'acqua? Eh, tieni l'acqua, vai. Drink. Acqua? Solo. Fine. 
finally managed to put you down. Yeah. My back's broken. <laughs> Let go. Let go. I need to record daddy. Let go.